thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Barbie Signature Keely Jones from the Ted Lasso Show. Let's take a closer look. This is the shipper for Keely Jones Barbie from the Ted Lasso series. So let's get this shipper open. Oh, look at that. Wow. And maybe I can just have to do a little shaker, shaker, shaker. And shaker, shaker. And voila, we have our doll. Kind of. She's in tissue paper, which is very nice. Protective. Thank you, Mattel. And aha, ooh, look at her. I love when they do brand new sculpts. And that's what we have here with. Keely. I'm going to pull in so that we can see her. And of course, there's the glare there, but I'll remove her from the box in just a second. I just want you to see what she looks like inside of the box. And of course, the artwork that is inside as well. Very nice. I do like the color of the dress. And I do like that I see articulation. And that purse looks really cute. And let's, ooh, look at the split on that skirt or that dress. Very nice. Now, I'm going to pull back so that you can see the sides of the box. And you can see we have the logo for the team. And we also have over here, Believe. Now, on the back of the box, we have a picture of the Barbie here. And, of course, wait, she looks a little bit different. <laughs> but this is how she looks on the back of the box and she is very glamorous and you can see it says here barbie ted lasso and has some information here so if you want to pause the video you can but otherwise i am going to open this box i'm going to open it from the bottom and see if i can try not to tear it i'm trying to to opening these dolls a little bit more Seville. Oh, what the hell with it? I'm just gonna <laughs> see what happens. This is what happens. You're supposed to practice, and I just can't sometimes. I want to get this box open, and let's see her. Very nice. I do love when I see new sculpts here, and yeah, she looks really great. Actually, she would make a really good like a mini driver repaint, huh? Look at that, very nice. And I'm liking what I see here. And we've got some sort of, I don't know, it's marabou or something like that. And just go a little bit down so we can see the gown. Very nice. And of course, ooh, look at the shoes. Now that is a very good sculpt. It looks like it's kind of tied down there, but I'll remove her from the liner. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove this doll from the liner so that we could take a closer look at her and everything that comes with her. This is a close-up of the Keely Jones doll from the Ted Lasso series. And this is actually a sculpt of the actress and character from the show. Very cool. And I am loving what I see so far. Let's go in on the screening. Very nice. Look at her there with her little smile there. And I do like when we have dolls that look a little bit more realistic sometimes. I mean, you know, as compared to, you know, me. <laughs> and you can see the ear here. Now, this is what I am talking about, Mattel. This is what you guys need to start doing more often. If you're going to give us a gold earring give us a gold earring of course it's not really gold but it shines like it's gold and that's all we ask instead of giving us those yellow plastic things that we normally get more of these in gold and silver thank you mattel you can see her hair how it is styled and it's very nice i would not take it down i think the style is what it is and it's just very nice also as you can see she's got this ruffle here and i'm not quite sure how it comes on and off. It looks like there's some sort of little hook in there. I'm not quite sure, but you can see she also has a little necklace and you can see the collar for the dress. I don't want to mess this up. So I might take a look, but you can see it is lined in here, but it is really hard to see how that's done. Looks like that is a hook in there. 
I'm just not going to pull it off uh, until I do a 360 at least. And you can see the back of the gown and you can see we've got plastic buttons in the back. Another thing actually, actually a few things that I do want to point out to you is that she does come on what they call an articulated body, which means that her elbows move, her wrists move, which is really important and great to me. It really helps with posing the doll. It's not made to move, but it will still work. Also, you can see her knees here. She's got a little plastic thing, which I will take care of, but you can see at least she does have some articulation. Also, the shoes are, well, that shoe is really gorgeous. That shoe, oh, maybe I can get some hot water or something and try to, ooh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at the shoes. Oh, well, this one is really gorgeous here. This one, not so much. Now, another thing I do want to point out is that she does come with this really cute purse. Now, there's a little plastic piece on here that is holding it on her hands. Unfortunately, they did not give this doll a grip hand so that she can hold her own purse. So I'm gonna actually leave this on here so that when we do the 360, she can actually have her purse in her hand. But just wanted to point that out. Let's welcome our panel. First, we have CEO of W Cosmetics, Veronique Perrin. Next, we have fashion icon and queen of Mattel, Barbie. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. So before we speak to our panel, let's do a 360 of Barbie signature Kaylee Jones. So one of the first things I want to mention is that the display stand that you see here does come with the doll, so I'm very happy for that. You can also see this is how long her hair really is. Very, very nice. But let's go in on that face. And yes, she's actually pretty cute. I think the actress who plays the uh, character actually is prettier than this. I think they could have done the screening a little bit better, but the sculpt looks good. You can see the beautiful hair. It needs maybe a little bit of a hair treatment at the bottom, but not bad. I also love that they gave her the shiny gold earring that did not cheap out that really is plastic. But again, I do want to see her face. This is a brand new sculpt, so of course I want to see as much of it as I can. And of course, we'll take advantage of seeing the hairstyle there. But of course, let's look at her face, face, face. Her face, as they say. Very cute. Very nice. It's really cool seeing these new sculpts with Mattel. And you could see her uh, fur jacket <laughs> and I'll go down of course with her articulation is actually very nice so you can actually use it to put her hand on her hip if you'd like it's always an easy pose and of course she's got this really cute purse here but unfortunately she really can't hold it really well so I just decided to leave the plastic on there and I'll remove that later I know it's kind of hideous but I didn't want to leave that on there I also want to show you the split on the dress. Very nice. And of course, the shoes over here. Very, very cool. I like the design a lot. Ooh, except for, ooh, look, oh, look at how that is crushed. Come on, Mattel, you all gotta do better with the quality. But I do like the design of the shoe, but, you know, it's that kind of plastic. I'm just not really a big fan of. Also, this fur does come off with a little string and a little like button. I did not want, I would really, it looks really frail, so I did not want to break it and then try to show you the doll. So I decided to just leave it on there. But it does come off, and I did show you what it looks like underneath. But otherwise, I really think this dress is really pretty and vibrant. And this purse is super cute. Super, super cute. And that is the 360 of Barbie signature Keely Jones from Ted Lasso.
Veronique, I'm going to start with you, and you have a note for me already, and you say she looks like she got that fur jacket from an arcade claw machine. <laughs> Barbie, you have a note for me, and you say Mattel is clearly listening to collectors with these distinct face sculpts and articulation. And Alyssa, you have a note, and clearly you also have lunch. And you say, ugh, not in front of my salad. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> Apparently, Alyssa is not a fan. All right, well, thank you, panel. I like the Keeley Jones doll from the Ted Lasso show. I think Mattel did a really good job with her. I love that they are really, you know, upping their game with the face sculpts now. And it's really good to see a doll that looks a little bit more like a human being. So that's really cool. I think they could have done maybe a better job with the screening because I think the actress is actually really pretty. And I think that this doll is pretty, but the actress is a lot prettier. Also, they could have maybe done a little bit of a better job with the coat. But that being said, the fact that she's articulated is awesome. I love the color of the dress and the material's just fine. And the purse is adorable. So all in all, I think they did a good job. And if you're a fan of the show, then this is a doll that you should have in your collection. So thanks for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, today is the day. There's a little button somewhere down there. You press that, and then you get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.